Hey guys, it's Sim Queen, and today I'm gonna to be doing a horror slash spooky build. Um, for the month of October, I would like to incorporate some more Halloween themed builds on my channel. And so basically that's what this is. It's um, a Halloween themed build. Uh, so this house is inspired off the Amityville Horror house. Um, there's a movie and then there's the actual house. So this is more um, a replication of the real house in its current state. Uh, there's like three different versions of the house. There's the house, uh, like what it looked like in 1974 when the murders happened, because it's it's a real story. And then there's also the house in the movie, and then there's the house um, in its current state. So I kind of had to, to play around a little bit. I was confused by all the pictures I was getting because they all kind of contradicted each other. And then I found out that they're all just, they're basically all different houses. So the best thing I could do, I figured, was go onto Google Maps find the house and build that version. So that's what I did. Um, the pictures were, like the Google Maps pictures were taken back in August of 2018. So I knew that they were up to date for sure. Um, so yeah, it's more like the current version. I combined a whole bunch of different things together though. So I did the house, like I said, like it looks like now, uh, with a bit of a twist though, to add a little bit um, of like the, the movie aspect to it. I added the iconic chimney upstairs that it doesn't have anymore, but it did have it in the movie. And I think it had it in the original house as well, but it's gone now. So I did include that though, just because I think that it um, kind of helped it all come together and make it look like the Amityville Horror House. So I did add that, and then the inside of the house is more inspired off of what it looked like back in 1974 when the murders happened. So. I did a whole bunch of research on this movie and uh, not just so much the movie but the actual murders. Basically what happened is um, some guy decided to kill his entire family, his parents and siblings in this house um, back in 1974. And um, I, I mean I didn't, I didn't dive too deep into it because it's all pretty freaky. Um, but I mean it's mostly, I guess I was going to say it's mostly about the movie but really <laughs> this is like inspired off the actual house. But. Um, the movie is not so much about the murders, but more so what happened after the murders. Um, in the movie, a family moves into this house and a whole bunch of creepy stuff starts happening. I can honestly say I've never seen the movie. I've seen parts of it, um, but it's too much for me. I know that that movie is not for the faint of heart, and that's me. I'm the faint of heart. I can't handle scary movies at all. Even after looking at the pictures of this house and some of the like gruesome murder pictures, that were on Google Images, I couldn't sleep last night. So <laughs> I know that I couldn't handle the movie. I could not watch it. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I just kind of had to do things based off of Google Images that I found. And I did so much research. I felt like such a creep for typing in all these things. I had like three tabs open while I was doing this build. I had like the floor plans and the shell of the house and the landscaping. And uh, yeah, like I said, I felt like a total creep. Um, so what I did is, I built the shell of the house and then the floor plan is, um, I mean it's the real floor plan but the furnishing is more like a little bit outdated and um, I don't know, the furniture The furniture is all placed realistically like the beds in the bedrooms are all placed like how they actually were um, the night of the murders and <laughs> it sounds creepy to say that but um, I tried to do my best to make sure that the furniture was placed as realistically as possible um, even if the furniture doesn't look like how it looked back then. Um, the placement was more what I was going for. So what I did uh, next, I think I flipped the lot because currently it's facing um, like face it's head on and that's not how it actually is. It's kind of um, turned 180 degrees like that. So I did that. It's got a driveway that leads um, sort of to the back of the property and it is waterfront property. Um, I didn't include that in the build though. I did try to. At the end of the driveway, they have a boathouse and I was gonna build that, but then I ended up like, there was not a ton of room there. And I was having so much struggling with the fountain tool that I just decided not to include the water at all. Um, so yeah, that chimney there is like the iconic chimney that you see in the movie, but I did flip it to the other side, um, the side that's facing the street because that's where it actually was. So it does, I do move it um, later on. Um, I found, like I said, there was a whole bunch of images on Google that were kind of contradicting each other. I had to do so much research to find out what was real and what wasn't. Um, I tried to avoid the movie for the most part just because, um, like I said, I haven't seen it and I didn't really want to do 
something that I, you know, where I didn't know where I was talking about. So I just, I avoided the movie part other than the chimney. Um, this was originally, I was going to build this for um, a collab that I'm going to be joining for the month of October. Um, Artistic Gamer 7 posted uh, this video kind of going into detail about a collab she's got going on. She is rebuilding the neighborhood of Brindleton Bay using Halloween builds and she's getting a whole bunch of YouTubers to come together and sort of build lots to add to that um, to that world. So I definitely jumped on that. I chose a lot that I'm going to be building on and that's what this was originally going to be for. And then I decided that I want to do a bunch of different Halloween builds. I wrote down some ideas and um, I want to try them all. So this one's just for fun to put on my channel. It's not going to be the build that I contribute to the um, collab. I am looking forward to that though. I think it's going to be, I think it's posting on Halloween day. I'm not totally sure. I haven't asked her, but um, I do know that I definitely need to get started on my build. Um, I probably should have started with um, the actual build that I'm going to be doing before I started moving on to like just for fun things like this one. But um, I really wanted to build this house. I thought it'd be really fun. And it felt creepy because like my brother and husband were like behind me while I was building this and they saw me like putting the build together and looking at all these Google Im images and I felt so judged. I knew that they were watching me. Um, but I think it turned out really good and even they were impressed. So I, I think it's all worth it in the end. Um, as far as the video goes, I did include the furnishing for the main floor, but not for upstairs. Oh, there's two more floors. I didn't do any of the furnishing for the second floor or the, the third floor because it would have taken too long. They are in the screenshots though. But like I said, it would have taken too long and I w didn't want this to be a super long video. I wanted it to be more about the shell of the house and the outside of it. Um, just because like that's, to me, that's what I was really trying to um, replicate perfectly is the outside of it and like the landscaping and all those little details. So that's really what I wanted to include in the video. Um, the floor plan though is pretty exact except for the bathroom on the main floor. It looks like a closet. <laughs> There's no room for a sink or anything like that. It's literally just a toilet in a room. So that's a little unrealistic. The placement of the bathroom is realistic, but the size of it is not. Um, other than that, everything is pretty, um, pretty accurate, I think. Uh, the two sunrooms were kind of hard to find images for, so I kind of just did whatever. Um, there's one on either side of the house and yeah, I just, I didn't know exactly what to do. So I kind of did my own thing, but like I said, the floor plan is pretty exact. I think I nailed it pretty good. Um, there was a basement, but I did not include the basement just cause I, like I said, I didn't want it to be so much about the inside of the house as much as the outside of the house. Um, I do really like the build though. I think it'd be good to use just for, um, just for your Sims to live in. I mean, it's creepy to think about, but it turns out to be a really nice family home. It's got uh, six bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms, I think. If you can even call that bathroom on the main floor a half bath, it's more like a quarter bath. It's a one piece bathroom, <laughs> which is like unheard of. Um, so yeah, like I said, I felt like a total creep for looking up all of these images on Google and replicating the rooms as best as I could. Like the, the living room, I think I did pretty, ex well, not exact, but I think I did a pretty good job of the living room. There were quite a few pictures um, from like 1974 when the murders happened. And so it was easy to find all these pictures. I, I mean, it was like one of the most famous murders in history. So there's a ton of information out there, a ton of pictures. It definitely wasn't hard to track these things down. It, like I said, it did feel really weird because, you know, it's not just a movie. It's an actual thing that happened and it felt almost like insensitive that I'm like doing this build. Um, but I mean, it happened a really long time ago and I just tried to forget about the fact that it was real and that just, just think about the movie. And I mean, it's hard to do when you've never actually seen the movie, but um, I think I still had a really good time with it and I think that it does definitely capture like the the Halloween theme as well. This is probably one of the most iconic murder houses there is. And um, what I found really creepy is that when you go on Google Images and you type in the address because I mean it's it's a pretty like notorious address everybody kind of knows. Um, but you go down the street and it's this very upscale New York um, neighborhood and it's 
it's still, <laughs> I don't know, it's still got this creepy vibe to it. Like, you know what happened there, and everyone that lives there just kind of, I don't know, exists. And I don't know how you could live even near that house, let alone in it. Like, there are people living in this house. Um, there's a little sign on the front lawn that says private property. There are cars in the driveway. And it's just, it's crazy to me that people could live in this house and not care about what happened in it. I don't understand that. But, I mean, I, I guess that that's kind of how a lot of houses are. People live there anyway after murders happen. Some of them are torn down, but this one was not. Um, I remember it was for sale quite a few years ago for like 850000 And I thought like, who would pay that? But apparently someone would. So yeah, there's a new family living there. Um, and they must get a lot of drive-bys and a lot of people walking by or taking pictures. Um, I mean, if I was in the neighborhood, I would go and look at it for sure. I mean, I never will be. But if I was ever around, I would definitely go and look at it um, just because it is so creepy. But even going down Google Map in Google Maps and you're like going down the road, you just it's such a creepy neighborhood. But a lot of the houses were really cool, very upscale, very classic American homes. And I got a lot of building inspiration from looking at them. And it just made me want to build in The Sims, looking at all those houses. A lot of them were um, like colonial and yeah, I, <laughs> I, I was getting the wrong, I mean, I, that's not why I was looking at those houses, but it made me want to build them. Uh, so the dining room, I couldn't find any pictures of the dining room, interestingly enough. So I just kind of did my own thing. Um, like I said, the furnishing is not exact. Don't expect it to be exactly how it is in, on the inside of the house. Um, I kind of had to go my own way with it. And um, the inside was fun, but like I said, the furnishing, it just would have been too much if I included all of it. So just the main floor, I think, was enough furnishing for this build. I really, really wanted it to be more about the shell of the house. And I didn't want it to be a super long video either. Um, this house is on the gallery. It's called 112 Ocean Ave. Um, if you search it up, uh, there, well, you can also just go to my, um, my gallery as well, Sim Queen 1992, and it'll be there as well. I don't think, um, I didn't find a ton of Amityville, uh, horror house, I guess, builds. Um, I did find some on YouTube, like some speed builds, but yeah, on the gallery there weren't a ton of them, and I don't even know if people would really be into downloading them, like, it seems pretty creepy, but I mean, it's up there if you're interested. But like I said, I just think it's a cool house to live in. Like, um, if I could, if any of my Sims could ever afford it, then maybe they would live here. But I don't remember what it ended up costing. I can't remember exactly, but it's definitely um, a more expensive house for sure. I mean, it's got three floors and it's on, it's, the lot's not that big, but I did use some more expensive items, I think, as well. Um, so I think soon I'll be wrapping up the furnishing for the inside of the house. Um, just added like some little details here and there. And um, I think, yes, we go to the outside. So there was no, there's no real backyard with this house. Um, the back door there just leads out to like the edge of the property. And then there's a house directly next door to it. So I just put in like all the hedges and I did all of this as realistically as I could. Um, or as close to what it looks like now as I possibly could. Um, like the hedges and the bushes and the trees are all placed pretty accurately, I think. Um, I may have placed just a few other things just to kind of fill the spaces up. Um, but the trees that I placed were fairly realistic. Um, at the back of the property, they did have a, like a little patio area with some table and chairs. So I did add that. Um, like I said, no boathouse, no water. It was just too much. In a minute here, you'll see me bring out that stupid fountain tool and struggle with it for so long. I should have cut it out because it was so embarrassing, but I always like to include some of my struggles in the builds because A, they're hilarious and B, everybody has them. So yeah, I just, I tried it again and then again, and maybe even one more time after that. And then I finally gave up on trying to build water there. It just was not working for me. I could have put a pool in, but yeah, it just, I was like, nope, no, no boathouse for you. You get nothing. Oh my god, I tried it like seven times. My god, I never gave up. Um, that, so that front corner, I just put in like a tree and a little bird bath there, and that was pretty much it. I did put a car in the, in the driveway because I wanted to, to show that someone does live there. Um, on Google Images, there was like three vehicles in the driveway, but 
I just, I like the idea of, you know, knowing that someone does live in this house. Uh, when I went in to take the screenshots, um, cause I, I had a sim, I mean, I do have the mod where you can go into, um, camera mode while you're in build mode, but it still shows like the grid. So I did move a sim into this house and when she moved in, it was fall and it was nighttime and the moon was out and it was perfect. Like I didn't have to wait at all. I didn't have to pass, like no time had to pass at all. I just started taking photos right away because it was, the timing was perfect. Um, so I think I got some pretty creepy screenshots, which I'm really excited about. I think they turned out to be pretty good. Um, and then I just, I'm just adding some more of like the landscaping and little details like that. And um, that's pretty much it for this build. I think um, I'm pretty happy with it. I, I did, I can honestly say I did my best on this build and I think it looks pretty good. Um, I will be doing some more Halloween builds on my channel. Um, I've got some more ideas written down and I'm going to be working on those um, pretty much for the whole month of October. And then also stay tuned for that big collab from Artistic Gamer 7 um, because my build will be on there and I'll, I'll post a video of the build on my channel but um, I'm really looking forward to October because there's quite a few collabs coming up and I think they're going to be pretty interesting. Uh, anyway, so we're now heading into the screenshots. If you liked the video, please comment and subscribe as well. Thanks so much for watching.